What's going on guys? And you know, with WrestleMania night one being tonight, hence my Becky Lynch shirt, shout out to the man, I decided I was gonna go ahead and order some pizza because what better food for WrestleMania than pizza? Pizza's the ultimate party food. So I decided to order from a local place called Enzo's. They're a new kid in town in terms of local business. And during the pandemic, I think it's very important to support local business. And after taking some hints from one of my favorite people to watch, David Portnoy, I decided I'm going to do a pizza review. Now, we got two pies here, but we're only going to really review one. Now, the reason I only want to review one for the sake of this video is because the other one is a specialty pie that might not be for everyone, and that is the buffalo chicken pie. Now, the reason I got two was, aside from me loving food, buffalo chicken is a a gatekeeper for me in terms of specialty pies because I love buffalo chicken pizza, I love buffalo chicken everything. But the one pie we're gonna review here for this video is another gatekeeper for me because it was and kind of still is my favorite pizza in terms of traditional pies. And that is a nice old mushroom pie. Now mushrooms I understand aren't for everyone. A lot of people don't like them, a lot of people do. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved mushroom pies. So we're going to do a little bit of a taste test and we're going to do a little bit of a review. Enzo's only opened up a couple months ago. I've been wanting to try it out. And because the name Enzo has a lot to do with wrestling, I figured I might as well try them out for WrestleMania. How you doing? So let's take a, uh, a slice of this mushroom pie. We're going to close buffalo chicken for now i don't want it to get cold in the process of this review we'll throw the mushroom one up here so for what it's worth um the pie itself looks a little messy but that's not a bad thing because it looks like it's fresh out of the oven which is great uh i tend to be someone who likes a nice mixture of cheese to sauce ratio where some people i've noticed don't really like the sauce or they super like the sauce don't really like the cheese cheese i kind of like everything all together so i'm looking for a nice slice here that has a nice amount of everything and then we're going to try it out i think it's going to be this one here i don't want to get too full off this because wrestlemania still starts in another hour and a half pizza got delivered early i requested it to be for um eight and it got here early we're going to try something real quick just because i see the cheese coming off and i did not want the cheese to get super falling off of the slice. So we're gonna try to just, you know, cut it a little bit from the cheese that's next to it. Always gotta have a pizza cutter on hand. Now, for any of you guys wondering what makes me feel like I'm qualified to review pizza, I come from a family where a lot of people in my family have worked in the pizza industry. My dad being one of them, and I used to always have a lot of pizza growing up whether it was him switching the restaurants he was working part-time at, we got to try a, different, a lot of different places. So I always like to try a different slice of pizza from another place. But the sure fact that, especially living here in New Jersey, so close to New York, there's that little bit of rivalry. Who makes a better pizza? It's not New York or Chicago, it's New York and New Jersey. And Staten Island in New Jersey is a big one in itself. Um, so let's try this out. I got this off as best as I could without a lot of the cheese falling off. Decent amount of mushroom. It folds nicely. It folds kind of... I don't know how I want to put it. It folds nice. It doesn't fall apart when I fold it. It's not too crunchy. It's not too crispy. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Now the crust looks like it's perfectly um, cooked. It has a little bit of a toastiness to it if you guys can see. The cheese and the mushroom all looks good. What's going to matter is the flavor, obviously. It's one thing for the slice to hold together, which is a big thing. But the pizza's not good. The pizza's not good. So let's see what we could do. This is Enzo's from Helmetta, New Jersey.
All right. So, as I get a nice scope of it, it's a really good sauce on there. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very tangy sauce, and to mix that with the cheese the way it is, it works out perfectly. The mushrooms are a nice proportion. Unfortunately, like I said, from the way it looks like it's fresh out of the ovens, my mushrooms on the rest of the pie are kind of all over the place, which is fine. It's only me eating it, so I'm gonna get all the mushrooms as it is anyway. Now, the crust has a nice little crunch to it, but it's not super cooked, which is what I love. Because if it was super cooked, there's a couple things you gotta worry about. A crispy crust to me can be good or bad, but I like a crust that's a little bit, I don't wanna say flimsy, because that sounds a little bit insulting and I'm not insulting this pizza in any means. But by being able to fold it, you get the ability to hold the slice a little bit better. Um, so this crust, because it's not falling apart when you bite it, when you're not stabbing the top of your mouth, right? You're not hurting yourself trying to eat this pizza, which I've had in the past, and it's not a fun thing. So, two, you get to hold this in a way where not even oil is dripping off the sides of it, and sometimes that annoys me where, you know, you're eating your pizza and just oil goes all the way down your arm, and you gotta find a napkin real quick. This ain't doing that. It's not a really oily pizza, which is very good. Uh, the flavor is on point. And for a new local business that's still trying to find its footing, I think they've come up with a nice recipe. Um, you know, everything is good for what it is. Normally, I would add a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of oregano, maybe some basil, depending how I'm feeling. And, you know, it would be that. But for just trying to slice base up, you hear that nice little crisp to it, biting into some parts of the crust. And for that, makes this a good pizza. I would order this again um, in the spirit of David Portnoy. If we're going to give this a rating compared to other pizzas I've had, I've had a lot of Jersey pizza. I've had a lot of New York pizza. This, for a local in-town place, and just out of um, contact, Helmetta is like a one square mile of town. I'm going to give this maybe a 7-6, right? Because it's not the most amazing pizza I've had, but for being a little in-town joint that's still brand new, still has a lot of time to find their footing, this is good. They've come up, you know, with the formula that you need to make a good pizza. You're going to get people coming back. I'm excited to see what the buffalo chicken's going to bring me. Um, and maybe we'll do a review of that one down the road. But for being my normal gatekeeper pie, this mushroom pie, it hits home. It's good. I went with two mediums. Prices are decent, guys. If you're ever in Helmetta and you want to check out a good pizza place, we have maybe three places in the area. Enzo's is definitely good. Enzo's is worth it. The prices are good. And the people are cool, you know. I like to support local business, especially during this time. So check them out. And, you know, coming from a dude who grew up in Jersey, you don't go with fast food pizza if there's other options available. I'm sorry, Domino's Pizza Hut. You guys are great for, like, party food. But as a Jersey guy, you want a real pizza, name Enzo, WrestleMania's tonight, you're getting a 7-6, and it's good. It's a decent pie, and I want you guys to check them out. Um, shout out to Enzo's Pizzeria. I ordered from you guys. This wasn't a sponsored review or anything. I wanted to check them out. I kind of want to give people in the area options, you know, what they're going to expect when they go somewhere. And this is a good pie if you want something good. They were quick at delivering, quick at preparing, and it's fresh out of the oven, so you know it hasn't been sitting around all day. So, shout out to them, guys. Thank you for watching this. If you want me to do other pizza reviews, let me know. Uh, let me know other foods you want me to review. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. I'll catch you later, guys. Time to go enjoy WrestleMania in about an hour. Have a good one.